Hello everyone, this is Afra from Quick WordPress Websites. In this video, we will see how to sell a digital products in WordPress. Digital products means any products in the file format. In this video, we will see how to add digital product with download limit and expiry date. Also remove unnecessary address fields and link the digital products with Google Drive. After watching this video, you will be able to list your digital product like this and also you will be able to download the digital product like this. Also, you can link the digital products with your Google Drive. Let's start by installing Astra Free Theme. Go to your WordPress dashboard, click Appearance, then click Themes. Here click Add New. And in the search bar, type Astra. Here's the Astra free team. Click install. Then click activate. After activation, go back to appearance. Click extra options. Then here you can click install importer plugin. After the installation, following screen will appear. Go down and click build your website now. Then click Elementor. Here you can select a template called Brand Store. This is an ideal template for the WooCommerce and also for the digital product selling. Then click skip and continue. Again continue. And all items are selected and click submit and build your website. It will take around few minutes. So building this extra website and customizing all its components are explained in a different video. You can watch it from the description. Click view your website. Now it will bring you to the website and here click store. So you can see the default or demo item will be installed in the store. So let's add our new product as a digital product. So go to dashboard, click products and click add new. Here I am giving a title and then I am copy paste a description. Then go down and put a, a short description. Then go down to the product data. Here you have to select the simple product. Then select virtual and downloadable. So you have to click virtual and downloadable. So this indicates the digital product. And price I am giving a zero for the demonstration purposes. And here in the downloadable file, you have to add your file. So here I am giving a file name and choose a file. So we can upload any file, PDF, MP3 image or any file. So I am selecting a file to upload. Now the file have been uploaded. Click insert the URL. So now the URL will be appear. You can set up downloadable limit. You can limit the downloads as 3, 10 or sometimes you can allow for unlimited times. Also, you can uh, create an expiry period. If the wire only allowed to download for one year, you can set 365. Let's create product categories. So you can give any product category. So I am giving as digital products. So let's go down and we'll create the create uh, product image. So I am uploading a relevant image to that digital product and set product image. So now the product image is set. So let's update the product. Okay, now the product have been uploaded. Let's see the real view. So go to the website and click shop. And here you can see the latest product, the 1222, the ultimate WooCommerce guide. It's a digital product. So let's click that one. So it will appear like this. We have given the price as zero. So let's click add to chart. Click view cart. And you can see the cart is appear like this. So if you provide any coupon, you can add that uh, apply coupon also well. Let's go down and click proceed to checkout. 
So now the checkout page will appear as we have given the price as zero. You can place the order. But in the, in the left side, WooCommerce will ask the billing detail. Once we given the detail, we can place the order. If you connected the PayPal, it will connect to the PayPal. After the payment only, this page will appear. So once the purchase is done, the buyer can download the digital product straight away from the system. So as a seller, you no need to send the uh, files manually. So it will automatically appear once the payment is done. Let's come back again to the selling page. So you can see when the buyer view the chart, it will unnecessarily ask the payment detail or the shipping detail of the buyer. As we are sending the digital product, no need to request buyer's address, shipping address. So, but, but by default, WooCommerce will have first name, last name, country, region, street address, town, city, state. So how can we remove these unnecessary items from this form? So for that, you have to install a plugin. Go to plugins, click add new. In search bar, type digital goods and select the digital goods for WooCommerce checkout. Click install now, then click activate. So click skip here. Now you will go to the digital goods for WooCommerce checkout page. In the setting you can enable or disable unnecessary items. So enable this icon. So now you can enter whatever the items you don't need. So first name and last name I can have. So you can remove company name. As we are delivering digital products, we can remove this billing address and other things. So billing address, city, postal code. We can keep the country, so remove the state. So we can keep the country and phone number if you want to color, you can keep that as well. So let's save these changes. Now come back to the order page and refresh. So now you can see first name, last name, country, phone and email address only will be asked. Last part of this video, let's see how to connect Google Drive to WordPress. So you can upload your apps or any other PDF files. If it is big, you can add it into the Google Drive and you can link that file into the WordPress. So without the knowledge of buyer, buyer will buy from your website, but it will the file will be downloaded through the Google Drive. So let's see how to do that. Before connecting to the Google Drive, it's very important. You have to go to the WordPress dashboard, click WooCommerce and click products. Here you can to select the downloadable products and file download method already it will be forced downloads but you have to click as redirect only then only the original file from the Google Drive will be downloaded. Finally save the changes. Let's go to the WooCommerce products and let's create a new product. So I am creating a product called digital app. Go to the product data, select virtual and downloadable, giving the price as zero for the demonstration purpose and click add file. So here I am giving a file name and for the file URL, we are going to the Google Drive. So open the Google Drive, click new file upload then select the file you are going to upload it may be pdf or app or whatever so once it's completed just refresh your google drive so now you can see the file right click on that click share so this is restricted so change the sharing settings so now it is anyone with the link have selected Get the link and done. Now moving to the tricky part. 
if you straight away put this google drive link to your wordpress the buyers will be redirected to the google drive and they know the file is coming from google drive they may misuse it so what you have to do is you have to generate a direct google drive ring for that you have to go to the website mentioned here you can see it in the description as well here you can copy paste the google drive link and create a direct link so now the link is successfully created so copy this link and paste to the file url product file url so once all the settings are done click update once the purchase is done by the buyer when they click the download so it will automatically directly download it so buyer will never know the file is coming from google drive please subscribe our channel and stay tuned